Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Barbara Rogers. Joining me in the studio now is Derek Kimball. He is an associate professor and the chair of the physics department at Cal State East Bay. Thanks for stopping by today. Oh, it's my pleasure, Barbara. Thanks yes. for having me. You are here today to talk about the Bay Area Science Festival. Uh, that's right. It's, it's really exciting. You know, uh, the Bay Area, as you probably know, is one of the worldwide leaders in science and technology innovation. And uh, we've uh, uh, kind of led by uh, UCSF, we're taking the opportunity this year all over the Bay Area to host free and free events for uh, the public, uh, young and old, everyone uh, uh, is invited to uh, learn more about science and technology and all the exciting things that are going on in that area uh, in the Bay Area. So now, first of all, when does this all happen? Um, so it's going to be happening uh, starting uh, the week of uh, October 29th, and uh, specifically at California State University East Bay, we're hosting our science festival um, that Saturday, October 29th. But there are events going on all across the Bay Area? All over the Bay Area, um, at Berkeley, at Chabot Space and Science Center, um, uh, many, many locations throughout the Bay Area. There will be talks and uh, free events, and uh, it's going to be very exciting, a lot of exciting science going on. Now, what is the event that you will be involved in? Um, so I'm involved with the Science Festival at Cal State East Bay. And actually, we've been having the Science Festival um, at Cal State East Bay since 1974, uh, before I was born. Every other year, we have this event. And last year, we had over 5,000 visitors come by. And we've wow. got all sorts of things going on. Um, uh, and we've got a lot of partners, too, that are working with us. Uh, Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, um, Chabot Space and Science Center, uh, the Tech Museum of San Jose, um, the Lawrence Hall of Science, uh, UCSF, and Sandia Laboratory are all putting on presentations uh, here in Hayward um, uh, uh, in that event as so well. So will you be doing some kind of presentation about physics? Um, yeah, there'll be a lot of exciting physics things going on. We'll be doing uh, superconductivity demonstrations, where, um, which is the, the science behind these magnetically levitated trains. Um, there'll be lasers and my favorite uh, atoms. Will be a uh, uh, lot, lot and lot of atoms all over the place. I must say that when I was in junior high school, one of my favorite classes was my science class. I had a science uh, teacher who just made it all so much fun and so exciting, and 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 getting the chance to do the hands-on kinds of experiments and things like that. Is this something that people who are coming will get a chance to have some hands-on, or are they just going to be sitting and watching? Oh, not at all. Yeah, there'll be lots of hands-on activities. Um, it's going to be um, there'll be a lot of demonstrations and and things that you can. Uh, play with and, and engage with and you know I think that's the whole you know science uh, is so exciting and especially when you get to put your hands on things and figure out how it works and yeah. it's, it's really magical I mean the things that go on uh, yeah, that's, this is real magic in, in the nature is, uh, is the science that goes on. Now, is there a cost to be involved with this? Um, not at all. It's a free event, and everyone's invited, and we'd love to see uh, people uh, of all ages come and uh, participate. So you can bring your children? Uh, definitely. Yeah, children are highly welcome. <laughs> and how, how long does this go on each day? Um, so the, uh, the event at the Cal State East Bay will be um, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, on uh, October 29th. Um, okay. And there'll be other events throughout that week. And can you tell me specifically like what kind of experiment you will be involved in or what kind of a demonstration? Um, yeah, so we've got demonstrations, for example, on uh, um, angular momentum where you have uh, it's, it's, there's kind of a magical uh, behavior of tops and spinning objects. We can study that. Um, there's uh, also uh, a lot of exciting electricity and magnetism demonstrations, and um, we have a, a really a state-of-the-art laser facilities there um, that we can use to study and look at atoms, so we'll be demonstrating that, um, some new technology that's just emerged in the last 10 years with lots of contributions from people around the Bay Area that have developed these things. The Bay Area really is one of the more exciting places in the country for science and technology. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and I, you know, I'm really excited. I mean, that's one of the reasons that I, you know, I wanted to be here to be a part of the uh, exciting innovations that have gone here. And it's been, uh, you know, and the collaborations between all the different institutions here in the Bay Area, you know, have really made a lot of exciting things uh, develop. You know, I've collaborated with people from Berkeley and Stanford and all over, and the national laboratories uh, to develop a lot of new things. Very quickly, the website to go to to find out all the activities? Um, the, uh, the website, you can go to... Uh, 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 the, yeah, actually, I don't recall the website. Oh, okay. I'm very sorry. I think we'll uh, have it on the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Derek, for coming by and telling us about the Bay Area Science Festival. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And you can look it up online. <laughs> uh, it'll be on the screen. Okay. <laughs> thank, you thank you for you. joining us for another edition of Comcast Newsmakers. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>